I should have won. Before I get started, I want to say, call Halai Malai, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Recha Kodash, which means all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit, the wellness to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and will wear, and peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel. And come back again. Through the spirit power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Wacha Kodash. I don't put that I from Jimmy Smith's camp. The last thing will be on this article from um, Microsoft. Came across this article at the plantation today. And this was published um, today, Jan I mean, not January, February the 1st, 2024. Which is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. So, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. To the left, it reads, map shows the best place to buy a house in the U.S. to survive nuclear war. And we all know ain't no best place to survive a nuclear war on the shores of Babylon the Great. Because the scriptures say this whole land should be made desolate, man. Holy desolate, man. By nuclear fire, man. So we don't have to read this, you know, read the whole thing. I could blow this picture up. They say um the Rocky Mountains, California, Nebraska, the Midwest, the Mississippi Banks, uh North Carolina, Florida, right? Let me see, can I expand it? Let's see, let's jump around and you know get straight to the point, cause I know surviving a nuclear war, you know. Uh let's see. Let's, let's start here. Parts of California, Florida, and Texas that are away from their big cities like San Francisco, Miami, and Houston are ideal because they are near water and have good weather. Uh, if you near water, you will always be near food and water that can be ingested after it has been desalinated, said Ragusa. Um, the broker also advised on buying homes in states in states along the Mississippi River, including Arkansas, Illinois, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Minnesota, uh, Mississippi, Missouri, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. So they're saying these are the best places, you know, you want to survive nuclear war, you know, in these states, these areas. Uh, let's read this at Russia escalated nuclear threats in the midst of its war on Ukraine. North Korea nuclear arsenal has also been growing. Last week, what elevated is the doomsday clock was set at 90 seconds to midnight, and the threat of nuclear catastrophe, right, C catastrophe, had never been so great. What right? had never been so great. Um, so, right, so, you know, that's pretty much the point. <laughs> Reading this nameless article, the map showed the best place to buy a house in the U.S. to survive nuclear war. I ain't no surviving a nuclear war. This Isaiah 13 and 19 in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the, of the Chaldee Excellency. Shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And how did the Most High overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah? By fire and brimstone. So, pretty much what a comparison. Same thing, Luke uh, 17. Let's see. Let's see. Luke 17. And, um, we start 26. Could pretty much look comparing it. Let's start 28. It's a likewise also. Is is it was in the days of Lot, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, those times, the days of Lot, that they eat, they drink, they bought, they sold, they planted, and they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed exactly, man. So, going back to Isaiah. In 19, in Babylon, and this time about Babylon, the great, aka Milk, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chinese excellency, should be when the Most High would throw Sodom and Gomorrah, man. 
and it should never be inhabited. Like it would never be inhabited again. <laughs> neither should it be dirt in for minute should like neither should it be dirt in from generation to generation. Neither should that rapings pitch tent there. Right, like you ain't gonna have Ishmael the you know Ishmael, the Arabs come over here with their camels, you know, trying to live in the desert. No, this place will never be inhabited again in America. Neither should the Arabian pits tent there. Neither should the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses should be full of doleful creatures. And owls should dwell there, and satyrs should dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands should cry in, the, in their desolate houses, and dragons in a pleasant um, palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days should not be prolonged exactly. Babylon days are numbered. His time of destruction will soon arrive. Right. And the scripture saying one hour, Revelation the eighteenth chapter, man. You know, they tell say miss be fulfilled. He a uh, Job fourteen, he appointed all her bounds that it cannot pass. In the same book here. The same chapter. Um, Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold the day. Behold the day of the Lord. Yahweh coming. Coming. No. Yahweh but you know, shall come in cool. Both with wrath and feels angle. To lay the land desolate. What land? Melga. The U.S. And he should destroy the sinners. The world out of it. Right. The Lord said coming out of his place. To punish the inhabitants of the earth. You no. Know, let's get that. Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, right? My people being the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, wherever, and wherever his people are scouted due to the curses whose spirit goes back to Israelite. It said, come, my people, enter down to thy chambers, where are the chambers of the so-called your foes, the chariots. And that's the only safe place that you want to be at. The only place to survive is up. Look it down. Hit the fire, man. Revelation 15, <laughs> right? So it's a glass mingled with fire, sea of glass. So come, my people, into down to thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as well for a little moment until the end of the nation be overpassed, right? His righteous anger, his judgment. For behold, the Lord coming out of his place with the spiritual realm to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, right? For their sins. <laughs> Um, the earth also should disclose her blood and should no more cover her slain, man. And the Lord said with his eyes, Amos 9 and 8, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. Like this sinful kingdom now, America, man. Babylon the Great. You see? You got a lot of moles, Decepticon, the LG, all one air square community, right? A lot of mole on rice of decrees. This is the sinful kingdom, man. Pedophiles, you know. This is the sinful kingdom. Especially, hey, I'm going to say this. If you take the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, you're not going to survive at all, man. You're going to be part of this like a fire, man. You see? So don't take the mark of the beast. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving out medical advice, man. But the Lord eyes, well, <laughs> behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemi Havashah, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I would destroy it from off the face of the earth, right? This sinful kingdom, America, man, going to be destroyed from off the face of the earth, would never be inhabited again, saying that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, man. <laughs> Let's get Isaiah 9 to 5, because in this, what it say? 90 second, the clock, 90 second to um to midnight, Russia, uh, escalating nuclear threats, right? No Korea, nuclear arsenal, growing. It's war talk, man. We're in a time of war, man. But this war, Isaiah 95, for every battle or the war you is with confused noise and garments, wool and blood, right? Hand in hand comeback, man. You watch movies like Troy, you know, the confused noise. It said, but this. Should be with burning and feel the fire. But this upcoming war, the third war, will come quickly. Revelation 11, 14. This war should be with what? Burning and feel the fire, man. Nuclear fire. You see? And this should never be inhabited again, man. Thus said the Lord, man. 
No Survivor, uh, Jeremiah 15 and 13. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it should not be inhabited, but it would not be inhabited. Because of the Lord's anger, Babylon would become a deserted wasteland, man. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it should not be inhabited, but it should be wholly desolate. Everyone that go by Babylon should be astonished and hiss at all her plagues, man. All her plagues. And the final plague, Zechariah 14 and 12, consists of what? Nuclear fire, man. Put yourselves in the way against Babylon. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Babylon the Great which is destined to be destroyed. Put yourselves in the way against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, right? All you that got all the nations, right? <laughs> no Korea, Iran, Russia, China. All you that get all, uh, all of you that have nuclear arsenal, shoot at her. And spare no arrow, right? Let, let everything fly, empty the clip, right? For she has sinned against the Lord. For shout against her round about, she had given her hand. Her foundations are falling, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh. Take vengeance upon her, as she had done, do unto her. Right? And she go drink of the cup, the cup of judgment. You know what? I, I believe that's the point. I'm not going to get this Revelation 18. Four. It said, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Right? <laughs> Enter down to the chambers, come, my people. Come out of her, repent, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you will see not a place, right? Because you wanna, you do not want to take part in this second death, man. So come back to Yahweh, so I shall repent. And don't take the mark of the beast, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most I have remembered her iniquities, right? All her evil deeds that she had done, especially upon Jerusalem, upon us, man. The most I going to pay her back. With nuclear fire, man, and with the fire of the chariots, the so called UFOs, man, the laser beams. Sis, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her work. And the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. And after the after the destruction of Babylon the Great, all you heathens, especially you Edomites, you know, y'all going straight into captivity, man, you know, and you, and you decide to get a bunker. <laughs> you know, Rick Voss and shit. Get your money back. Because ain't no surviving this nuclear, nuclear war, man. Your bunkers ain't gonna save you, man. Ain't no surviving. Ain't no surviving the nuclear war. If you especially live on the shores of America, man. Ain't no surviving. Ain't no best place to live. You know, the best place is up. That's with Yah, but you want shine. You gotta be part of the elect. You wanna be part of the Lord's elect. To even qualify, you got to be an Israelite, man. But we know, according to prophecy, two-thirds going to be cut off and die. Two-thirds going to die in this nuclear fire, man. Boy, it said how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow will give her. For she said in her heart, I said a cream and am no riddle. It's a scene on sorrow. Therefore shall our plagues come in one day. Death and mourning and famine, and she should be utterly, right? Babylon the Great, this great whore, right? Should be utterly burned with fire, man. Completely burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, who judge her, man. So you read verse 10. Now let's continue. The kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her should beware her and lament for her. When they shall see the smoke of her burning, right? you're going to be televised. You're going to see it. The nation going to see it. They're going to be railing, crying and shit because they can't do no more business with her. Stand afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city, right? Babylon the Great. Make a miracle get, uh, great again, right? That great city, Babylon, that brightest city, for in one hour is that judgment coming. It's only going to take the Lord one hour. To destroy this place, man. To destroy Babylon the Great. And only with our eyes, Psalms 91. I only got to get it. But Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Just going in on that, on this article. You know, say all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah.